Fragments of Hurricane Florence roared through New England with downpours and damaging winds. Flash floods left parts of the state underwater. The storm knocked down trees in Saugus and even triggered a tornado warning. Investigators later determined the especially damaging weather there was actually a microburst, and crews are cleaning up tonight. In Lemonster, the torrential rain created scenes like this. Water gushing off the road like a waterfall and creating a lake in one man's backyard. And in Quincy, a National Guardsman rescued a woman trapped in her car on a flooded street. Mike LaCrosse is in Saugus with more on the wild weather to hit the state and now the cleanup. And here's a look at one of the trees that came down during the storm early on today. Crews are making good work clearing them off of people's properties, getting them away from the road to make the roads passable again. And I can say the power is back on here in the area. Look like a big white cloud coming right over the house here. The wind and rain coming in quick, forcing some contractors in Saugus to get inside late this morning. Hey, the tree just came down, the barrels were flying, this guy's patio furniture. Tree crews spending the night cleaning up the mess left behind from the storm. I heard a big bang, whole house shook. A large tree in Roger Mallet's yard was split. Tonight, he was out surveying the damage it caused. I got my deck, my grill. I don't want to happen my picnic table. Heavy rain from the storm, flooding streets all over the region, making some impassable. In Waltham, this driver got stuck under a railroad bridge on Prospect Street. And in Quincy, 55-year-old Beth Cronin was trapped on Standish Ave while out delivering food. The water is up. To my floorboards at this point, and I'm scared. She had to be rescued from her flooded out car by a National Guard specialist. Seeing someone in, dis in distress, I can't just leave them there. You know, I have to help. The roads here in town are now clear of debris. Homeowners are now left to figure out what they're going to do with all the debris in their yards. At this point, we're not hearing of any injuries from today's storm. Reporting from Sockets, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News. Thank you.